From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Ben Hook, along with my partners. Ben Kornweiser. And Cameron Kozel. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, defeating the Cleveland Cavaliers 108-85 to in Game 4 of the NBA Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scores with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took the Finals. MVP, MVP for the second straight year. Following LeBron James announced oh, played the final game three. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I read too slow. <laughs> More NBA news. Okay. More NBA news. While basketball fans focus on the best of the best on the court, the Philadelphia 76ers have an embarrassing off the court issue to deal with involving the club's general manager in a scathing uh, exposed by the ringers.com. Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The 76ers say that they are conducting an inter internal investigation. Now on to hockey. The Washington Capitals defeated the Las Vegas Golden Knights 4-3 in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Finals to clinch the Stanley Cup fin title for the first time in franchise history. Capitals star Alex Ovechkin was named playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the nation's capital since the, Redkin since the Redskins defeated the Bills in the Super Bowl following the 1991 season. Now to football. The NFL has a new na national anthem policy that requires players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell said the new policy was approved unanimously by the owners, but within the hour the announcement, several NFL owners claimed they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball. Major League Baseball suspended Seattle manager second baseman Robinson Cano for 80 games, violating the league's performance-enhancing drugs policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the remainder of the session. That will wrap it up for us for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, Ben Hook and Cameron Cozy, and to close it out, Good night, Bangkok.